What is up team? Okay, so I went back out to the ice place, Cal Ice, and I got another chunk of ice, it's crystal clear. Um, what I learned from doing a little bit more research is that a sphere works really well. Um, a lens can also work, but our lens was actually just too small. This time, I'm actually gonna use the entire ice chunk to make one big giant lens with a little like edge around the, I guess you could say like the uh, handle in a way, like a frame. Um, that way we can capture as many photons as we possibly can and direct them all into one little spot so we can gain and gather that heat energy. So I'm gonna get the carve in. I love this part. I'm gonna show you guys as I go along, as I'm carving it. Um, it takes about an hour, hour and a half to carve this whole thing down. Uh, and then I'm gonna stick it back in the freezer and then tomorrow uh, I'm gonna go out to Nikopedia lab and we're gonna give it another try. We want to make our lens um, 10 by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches. So I'm, I'm really gonna use all of this real estate of this big ice chunk. And so I'm gonna do kind of the same thing that I did last time. I'm gonna mark off where the center is. I'm gonna carve it down to a centerpiece and then that'll be sort of like a little handle right there. Uh, all the way around, and then I'll actually have this space right here. Um, we're gonna draw another circle, and then that way I'm gonna carve the lens here, and then have a, a little grip zones on the corner here. This stuff really, it, it just kind of carves so nice, just like the last ice. And that, once you have that leading edge, it becomes a lot easier to just kind of go around the corners. All right, so there, I'm getting close, as you guys can see. I'm getting that cylinder up top, and I'm gonna carve that eventually into the actual lens itself, but that's the first part of it, at least making it look like a cake, a nice cake. <laughs> that's actually really clear, that's amazing. I'm look, we're looking right through the stuff. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop just for the moment. Um, if we look here, what I've created is essentially a cylinder with a square. Uh, the shape that we had initially was that square, and then there's now there's a giant cylinder. Now what I'm gonna do uh, with this big giant uh, ice cake looking thing is I'm going to start carving the corners this way so that I'm gonna round this out, very, very methodically round this out. That way we have a lens up top here and a lens back here and then this, uh, this area to hold it right here. All right, I'm gonna toss that back in the freezer and I'm gonna make sure not to break any little points and we should be good for tomorrow. What's up team? Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, we're here at the Nickapedia lab. Um, we have one hour until noon when the sun is at its highest point. Um, so it's, it's at the point where it's going to be able to let us harness as much possible sunlight, as many photons as possible to give us that heat, heat energy that we need. And so I'm gonna get the carving, I'm gonna make a nice perfect lens out of this, and then we're gonna put our jumbo ice lens to the test. I'm gonna waste no time. I'm just gonna get into it. This is actually the part that I shouldn't be rushing because this is the part that's gonna require the most accuracy. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move quickly, but I'm not going to go to the point where I'm compromising our lens. Solid. All right, I'm gonna toss that back in the freezer really quick and prepare our little area over there. I'm gonna bust it out and then it's gonna be great. No cracks as of yet. All right, so I think this is actually gonna work because it's quite bright. If I can just hold this and maintain this above the, uh, the grass here, I think we'll actually be able to get something pretty quick. It's already smoking. Is there smoke? Oh man, what do we got here? You can see the embers in there. Yeah! Fire! Oh, <laughs> All right, there we go! Boom! Fire from ice. Look at that right there. We finally did it. Day number three, it took three tries. 
but we did it. There we go. We have legit fire. We've actually made that fire right there with it. I'm gonna, it, this thing's dripping real bad. I'm gonna put this back over here. Okay, so here's what we learned. One, we learned that the ice lens has to be really big. We're talking almost a foot across. We used our entire ice chunk this time. We didn't divide it in half. Um, a sphere also could work, um, but we, you, you really don't need as big of a, of a piece if you're using a sphere. And the reason is because a sphere actually uses every single angle, so it captures all of the sunlight. Um, with ours, ours was actually much closer to a magnifying glass, like a big magnifying glass. Um, the other thing that we learned is that you can't really use a small amount of, of shavings, like your starting material. You really need a big, wide amount because the focal point is actually really big. Our focal point was almost as big as a quarter. And so it wasn't like the water bag where it was this little tiny thing that was like a little pinhead. This thing was huge. So we really needed a really wide area to uh, capture all of that heat. And it's actually, it's, it's still going. Um, there was some water down in there, it dripped in there. The other thing that you wanna make sure that you do uh, is you wanna make sure that you're not uh, letting the ice lens drip um, into the thing that you're actually starting. So that's a little bit difficult. You have to sort of figure out the right angle um, because the thing does melt very, very, very quickly if in fact you are capturing all of the power of the sun. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up down in the comment section below. Let me know, did you think it was even possible to make fire from ice? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon. Here's some ice shavings in order to put out our fire because we are in Glendale, however, and it's pretty dry out here. We don't want to start a forest fire. You know, it's kind of full circle, you know? It's like we started with the ice, and now the ice is going to put you out. <laughs>